but that was a joke. Um, we were able to meet. Um, he listened to us, um, but I don't know if he heard us. Um, he made his decision and he stands by it. Um, you know, we were limited. We had a couple other meetings set up and, you know, we got ended up with the provost or, you know, we, he was in Seattle or something came up. Um, so he heard us and that's all the information he needed, I think. Part of what happens when you have a small underfunded unit mm -hmm. that then scrambles to just barely meet even modest student needs is some of the other things that you expect at a state university, you know, research, creative activity, external visibility, publication, that kind of thing, that gets shortchanged because there's just, there's not enough resources for everybody to do everything that's asked of them. Well, um, I think WC needs theater like civilization needs theater. Um, mm -hmm. It's for literature, it's for participation, it's for socialization, it's for community, it's for uh, exploring the taboo, uh, laughing together, to empathize together, to cry together, to laugh together. The, the everything. Um, it's a multifaceted art, like I've said before, that is a foundation of a lot of the art that we do now. Um, rhetoric, oratory. Um, it's, a, it's the mirror that we hold up to ourselves and we're able to look at it. And it has a much greater effect than film because you get to experience it with the performance. You get to experience it with the actor so it hits home. Both the faculty and the administration agreed that the theater department has been chronically underfunded. But the question is, why? The faculty says that it's a process that's been going on for a long time, that over the past decade or so, the university has been paring back its funding for theater. The administration tells us the cut was reactionary, a result of the nearly 10% reduction in budget that the university is required to make over the next two-year period. But what were the reasons for theater being chosen? Was it a lack of financial interest on the part of the university? Was it underrepresentation by the theater department in the governing body? And why is the university putting what seems to be insufficient funds into a department that is teaching a larger and larger share of students, according to Dean Whitney? And finally, what does this say for education and the future of education? Dean Whitney put it best. Unfortunately, I, I don't know of any state where this declining support for state educational institutions has bounced back up, right? Once it goes down, the best you can seem to hope for is that it levels off. And if they try to bounce it back up, how do they have to do that? Well, you have to raise revenue at the state level and nobody wants their taxes raised. So in essence, a, a, maybe it's not a conscious choice, but it's a quite a, a deliberate choice to make state universities more and more like private institutions. And in, a, in essence, our political leaders and our voters and the people affected need to have a dialogue of really what do we want out of a state institution? Do we want them to be semi-private colleges? Or do we really want state institutions that are dedicated to serving the greater good of everybody in the state? That, that's, that's a question that we haven't answered in Olympia's budget deliberations. I can't answer your question until they do. I'm here in the studio with Peter Wagner and Amanda Gibbs. Alex? So this segment makes me wonder, how is Washington State University handling the uh, theater majors in the certified, uncertified? Um, well, anyone who's not certified in theater cannot certify or minor in theater. Um, however, they do have a two-year phase out for people who are certified currently. Mm -hmm. This year will be um, as any other year in theater, you know, production plays. But next year, they're very uncertain what's going to happen. There's going to be less classes, less faculty. They don't really know. Okay. Did uh, you talk to anyone about the incoming freshmen? Were they? Yes, um, I talked to um, freshmen and people who knew some freshmen that were intended theater majors and they did not know that theater was cut until the live. And so oh, there was no forewarning um, and they just didn't really know what to do. Well, I can see how that could put them in a, an awkward position. Um, the people you interviewed seem to feel like the theater department is being uh, targeted in, in a sense and, and uh, wonder why why would they feel that way and is that a, a legitimate accusation or 
Well, throughout the years, um, I believe it was like the 1970s, um, mm -hmm. they've been slowly reducing funding and they eventually got rid of the graduate theater program. Mm -hmm. And then in 2005, they were trying to get rid of the theater program altogether. The whole thing. The whole thing, but they, um, the students protest and such and they didn't get removed. And now, basically they were cut of lack of funding, but they have been reducing funding throughout the years. Now, another angle you could, you could sort of take on that is uh, that this was a pretty bad year fiscally for the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. um, we were supposed to have about a 20% reduction in funds that were coming wow. in from the state. And, and oppo as opposed to a school like UW, um, we take a pretty high percentage of our budget from uh, state money. Uh, and luckily we got some federal stimulus money in there, cut it down to about 10%. Uh, but we were at a point where something had to go. Um, some department had to, had to get kicked out. Somebody had to lose, basically, in this game. And it's terrible that it was theater, but it was theater or it was somebody else's major. Right, so it, it's possible that this has nothing to do with the theater department being targeted in any way as well. It's, it's entirely possible, yes. Okay. Uh, so I guess that, that leads me to ask, uh, are you satisfied with the answers that you guys found while you were doing this segment? Well, I just don't feel like I know enough. Like, I found out so much stuff that made me even think of other things like, why things like the Cub and construction is a different set of pool of money than education and why they can't merge mm -hmm. or transcend and just how people, you know, some things are just more important than other things and why WSU chooses certain sure. programs over others. In this segment, it, it actually opened more, you know, it, it, it begged more questions than it, than it answered. Uh, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, Without that federal stimulus money, we would have been in an even worse hole, a, a hole that I don't even want to imagine at this university. And it, it asks a really important question. What do we do? You know, what happens next? Who gets cut? Who's next on the chopping block? Which department has to give up something, some huge part? Which college has to give up next? And it's a pretty slippery slope yeah. we're on right now. Because that's, that's a very scary question. And, because we have, we have very few options to get, to get more funding. And you know, we talked to Dean Whitney, and he said uh, one of the one of the things you could do is raise taxes, but nobody likes that. But right. something has to be done because this university can't function as a state university if we keep getting less and less money from the state. And and who has to go next? I certainly hope it's not us. And I understand that. I I think that unfortunately, with the the budget cuts, it does make our school less because they just keep getting rid of majors, and if they have to continually get mm -hmm. rid of majors. We're just not going to be a university anymore. We're losing a well-rounded education if we lose things like theater. The implications are, sound pretty scary. It's a, it's a pretty dire situation right now, Alex. Well, thank you, Peter. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Amanda. This segment shows that as students, we all care about our education a lot. That's why we're here. Whether you're a communications major, a theater major, a veterinary medicine major, or a music major, we're here because we want to work hard and to make something out of ourselves, to do something. And we all care about it a lot, which is why it hurts when it, the going gets tough, when we have to struggle to find ways to pay for our education, when departments get cut because there's a lack of funding or for whatever reason may be. That's why it's so difficult and why we have to ask the questions and why we want to ask the questions and find the answers and know why these things are happening. And in the end, we all want the same thing. We want to be able to look back on our journey here and be proud of the journey we took and look at ourselves in the future and be proud of the people we became because of it. With that, thank you and good night.